You're not paying for the product. You are the product. You are being programmed. How? ATM scams. Money being withdrawn in your account without your knowledge. People are getting calls from advertising companies selling to them goods that they don't need. All these came with the internet. If you are not paying for the product, you are the product. There is nothing for free in this world, it is proven and recognized. You can check on our previous video about monetary system. If you are using the internet, you must have general knowledge of using it. WhatsApp promised to keep personal information protected. Internet is precious to everyone. It's easy to connect with your friends and family. Using WhatsApp even overseas and it's cheaper than airtime or credits bought from the service provider you use. Since the internet was established on January 1, 1983, a new communication protocol called Transfer Control Protocol or Internet Work Protocol In short it's called TCP or IP This allowed different kinds of computers on different networks to talk to each other All computers can be connected by a universal language. It started with SMSs and emails, now all our lives are on internet. All the companies rely on the internet to find clients who will buy whatever the product they are selling. They advertise their product through SMS's emails and phrase calls. Then here comes a nightmare. Every social platform in the internet need more users so that they can give the information to the companies. These companies can contact and advertise their product. As the information goes across company to company for advertising purpose. Who else get their hands to the information? The answer is... Hackers. Hackers takes our personal information and use it to steal money in poor people's bank accounts. Recently Facebook bought WhatsApp which contained most private and personal data. Facebook make money by letting companies to sell their products on the Facebook platform. WhatsApp was an end-to-end -end based app that assured people's personal information to be protected. WhatsApp collects personal data like phone numbers and private messages, which is now owned by a company which priorities in selling people's personal data. This is causing real damage to real people. When hackers
hackers got the information they steal money from your bank account and sell your information to other companies so that they can beat you. This led to ATM scams and spam adverts. South Africa is under attack of cyber crime. Hackers make their own bank card readers and place them on top of the original ATM bank card reader. Don't click on any link you don't know when there is money involved inside. The scammers are on lookout for people who clicks on their link. They wake up only to just concentrate on people's money. They can take your money without you giving them your PIN and cell phone numbers. Most of you are asking. Is it safe to use the internet? Well, the answer is no. Can you trust the social media apps? A big no too. You may ask yourself now. Why am I using it too? Well, I use the internet with tender care and security. Make sure you are secure every time you use the internet. Do not allow any stranger to help you with any online banking, except the bank officials. Never share your passwords. Always block the ATM keypad when typing your PIN. Never click on links sent by SMS if you're not sure who sent it. If you find this video interesting, please press the like button to help the YouTube algorithms. Don't forget to subscribe. By doing that you will be helping us growing the channel. Hit the notification bell so that every time we upload videos you will never miss them. Click the video on the screen to see how load shedding is damaging South Africa. See you there.